good morning and thank you for joining us this morning. Today is Sunday, March the 10th, 2024, and it is the fourth Sunday in Lent. My name is Nicole Grieve and I'm the parish administrator at St. Bart's Sarnia and St. Paul's Point Edward. We are so glad that you have joined us this morning. So let us now take a moment to quiet our hearts and quiet our minds for worship. God in Christ has revealed his glory. Come, let us worship. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the Lord's name is greatly to be praised. Give him praise, you servants of the Lord. O praise the name of the Lord. Jesus says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from sin and turn to the Lord, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Almighty God, long-suffering and of great goodness, I confess to you, I confess with my whole heart, my neglect and forgetfulness of your commandments, my wrongdoing thinking, and speaking. The hurts I have done to others and the good I have left undone. O God, forgive me, for I have sinned against you and raise me to newness of life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins, and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor they set out by the way to the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. But the people became impatient on the way. The people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food, no water, and we test this miserable food. Then the Lord sent poisonous serpents among the people, and they bit the people, so that many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord to take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a poisonous serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten shall look at it and live. So Moses made a serpent of bronze and put it upon a pole. And whenever a serpent bit someone, that person would look at the serpent of bronze and live. Listen for the leading of the Spirit. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 107. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let all those whom the Lord has redeemed proclaim that he redeemed them from the hand of the foe. He gathered them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some were fools and took to rebellious ways. They were afflicted because of their sins. They abhorred all manner of food and drew near to death's door. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them and saved them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and tell of his acts with shouts of joy. 
O God, the divine seeker, you are light to the lost, bread to the hungry, deliverance to the captive, healing to the sick, eternal vision to the dying, and harbor to every soul in peril. Gather the wanderers from every corner of the world into the community of your mercy and grace, that we may eternally praise you for our salvation in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses, and we were made by nature children of wrath, like everyone else. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love which he hath loved us even when we were dread through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Jesus Christ for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Listen for the leading of the Spirit. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and people love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light, and do not come to the light, so that their, need, their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. The Gospel of the Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our faith as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. In the presence of God, we gather our prayers together, saying, Loving God, be light in our darkness. On this, the fourth Sunday in the holy season of Lent, we offer our prayers for Christians around the world, for every denomination, every sect, and every gathering in Jesus' name, for all who seek to enter the kingdom of God and follow the way of Christ, and for those whose faith is known only to God alone. Loving God, be light in our darkness. We offer our prayers, hoping for an end to our many conflicts around the world, especially those in Ukraine and other war-torn areas of our world. Lord Christ, who brought eyesight to the blind, give us the wisdom to see the unholiness of all war. Loving God, be light in our darkness. We pray for those who feel abandoned, alone, and forgotten. And we pray for those today in our midst who are hurting. Loving God, be light in our darkness. We pray for healing in our lives and for a sense of wholeness in our Christian faith. We pray for the courage to trust more deeply and to love with more confidence. For healing in wholeness and trust in faith. Loving God, be light in our darkness. We offer our prayers this morning for those in our community who have asked to be remembered. And here we invite your own prayers, either offered aloud or in the silence of your heart. Loving God, be light in our darkness. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of Mary, bestow upon each of us your blessing. Teach us to recognize your image in every person and teach us to recognize your image in ourselves. Heal us of our own blindness so that we might see your power and glory in all creation and in every aspect of our living. Amen. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came from heaven to be the true bread, which gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread, that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God the Father, who led the wise men by the shining of a star, to find the Christ, the light from light, lead you also into your pilgrimage to find the Lord. Amen.
May God the Son, who turned water into wine at the wedding feast at Cana, transform your lives and make glad your hearts. Amen. May God, the Holy Spirit, who at the River Jordan descended upon the beloved Son in the likeness of a dove, pour out his gifts on you who have been washed in the waters of new birth. Amen. Jesus, Lord of time, hold us in your eternity. Jesus, image of God, travel with us the life of faith. Jesus, friend of sinners, heal the brokenness of our world. Jesus, Lord of tomorrow, draw us into your future and bless us. Amen. Go in peace. God is with you. Thanks be to God.